Hey there, it's Chuck with MTG The Journey and RoadDeckBuilder.com, and this is our first game of our fourth draft with our Learning to Draft series. And we have one to die roll, so yes, we'll choose, we'll choose to elect to play first. We have a green and a black here. So it could be dangerous to keep a two lane hand with all this big stuff, but I feel like we almost have to here. Hopefully we draw into another black source here fairly quickly. We don't have all of our colors represented here. I'd like to see a three land hand, but I don't really know. Because we take the risk of mulliganing and getting an even worse hand than this. So we will go ahead and just keep it. And see where that gets us. Not really sure here. We have a pretty high curve, so if we can, he's he's mulligan once already here. So we'll go ahead and just throw out the swamp and just go ahead and say go ahead here. And he doesn't have a turn one play either. Please land. Nope. But we have the return families, so that will at least get us something to play this turn so at least a decent blocker for anything he might throw down here unfortunately we can't attack with it but that's not necessarily always a bad thing we have our scholar of Athreos here so we'll go ahead and throw that out. We really need another swamp here to be able to cast off our asphyxiate. But we'll see what happens. That might not be a bad idea just to throw one island in there either. Just to see if maybe at some point we can activate this guy. Zero six defender, that seems pretty good. But we can always asphyxiate that to get through for damage later on if we need to, and it doesn't have reach, so there's our other swamp here. So we can go ahead and throw out Karamich's Acolyte this turn. There's another one four. We have a lash of the whip on deck, and we have an asphyxiate. So what's our play here? We draw another turn next turn. We have Nessie and Ask, which is huge. So I feel like we just drain him, maybe? And hold out? I think we just hold out. And then at the end of his turn, we can drain him if he doesn't play anything that's worth asphyxiating. Because I don't really want to waste that on this defender right now. Once I get my Nessie and Asp on the field, I can asphyxiate this if I need to. Or if he blocks with it, then I can lash it later. That's fine. I think we'll just go ahead and pass turn and see what else he has here. I don't want to waste an asphyxiate on a Guardians of Miletus. Because that's not going to win him the game. He might be stuck on land. Nope, he's got four. So he's got something coming down here. For four. Polis Crusher, maybe? Xenagos. Oh boy. That can be deadly. He's just going to put out a token. Ugh. That seems gross. I 
And I think at the end of the turn here, we just drain him. Disciple's interesting. We get to see what's in his hand. Gives us a 1-3 blocker here. Hmm. I think we'll go ahead and throw out the Karametra's Acolyte as that gives us our Nessian Asp next turn. Gives us another blocker here. Because we do have a lot of bigger stuff, and we are going to want the extra ability to play land here. And I'm not really worried about these 2 2 tokens, because most of my stuff has pretty big, pretty big butts here, so I'm not really worried about that. He didn't throw out another token this turn, so that's not too worrisome. We'll see what he comes out with here. Gains haste until end of turn. Do I care? Do I give him an 8 8? Yeah, I think I do because then it's asphyxiated next turn. So yeah, we'll give him we'll give him his 8 8 and then it just asphyxiated. That's fine. Because he doesn't get haste now. So that seems pretty good. And then we can exile target tap creature later. Yeah, that seems like the line of play here. And then we swing for one at Xenagos here, I think, is the way we go about that. Because he can block, but we'll get one through to Xenagos here. So we need to start doing something, and because we can still block his Seder token here. And if we take two damage next turn, I'm not awful worried about that. Or actually, you can just block both. That's perfectly fine, too. I didn't have a thing about that, that he's got the guardians there, so... Does he create a token here, though? Xenagos is a nice pull. And until we start getting a flyer out here, then this is... I really need a flyer. So I can start beating down on Xenagos here.
Faragax giant. Dag man. So I give him a 5 5 already? Yeah. So I can just block with my return failings and then lash of the whip him. So he's adding mana again to plus one in. So he wants to get that negative six. Which is going to get really nasty for us. So I think we just hold out for Lash here. We block with the returned Phalanx and get rid of his Faragax Giant here. Seems like about the only thing we can do. And then if we do the Drown in Sorrow the next turn. Because Nessian Ass still dies. It's a Faragax Giant here. And then that gives him another turn on the Senegos here. Hmm, it's a tough choice. Do we throw out the Asp? I think we do. I think we throw out the Nessian Asp this turn. And just say go ahead. He has three attackers, and I have three. Diff I have three attackers at this point, so we gotta keep tempo with him. Those well, Zenigos can just be brutal. I feel like he's going to swing in with the Faragax Giant. We should definitely take the hit. And then do we just Karametra's Acolyte for two? Yeah, he's hit that six now. Which gets pretty scary. Is he exiles the top seven cards of his library, and he can put any number of creature or land cards from among them onto the battlefield. So either Staunch Heart Warrior, I'm not too awful worried about. And he attacks, which is fine. Not worried about that. I'm just gonna take the damage.
can just end there. So we have our forest here. And I feel like we just tapped this for two greens. And we do a green and a white, and we excoriate this Faragax giant here. So that's the biggest threat on the board at this point. And then drown in sorrow to completely wipe his board here? Because that doesn't hurt me at all. Yeah, that's what we have to do here. We'll drown in sorrow. Forest, I don't necessarily want. We put that on the bottom. So, two. So, really, I can't do much else this turn, but at least that doesn't give him a huge advantage if he gets three or four creatures out of the Xenagos. So I feel like we end there, because I'm only going to do two damage to this Guardians here. If only I had enough up to the Lash of the Whip this Guardians, then we'd be fine. If I can get another Asphyxiate and get rid of this Guardians, then we'll be fine. So he's going to probably pop off then it goes this turn, just to get huge advantage here. Because he's either going to put a buttload of lands on the field or a buttload of creatures. It's pretty interesting at this point. It's a pretty strange board state at this point. He definitely has the upper hand with that Xenagos, though. Yeah, he pops off Xenagos here. So we'll see what he's got here. Yeah, he's got this Centaur Battlemaster. The rest of the challenge does him nothing. Open Unicorn he gets to play. Seder Rambler, Karamage's Acolyte, and Seder Hedonist. So he's just... And a forest. He just gets to go crazy here. A ton of value. It's a 3 3. The Opaline Unicorn, he gets to play, add the more land. Seder Rambler, that doesn't really worry us too much. Karametrix Acolyte, it's just another wall. Sater Hedonist adds him tons of more mana, but he doesn't really need any more mana at this point. So basically, the only thing he doesn't hit on is this Rise to the Challenge. Yuck. That gets him there, though. I think we are going to lash his centaur, though, because that's the biggest threat that we see here. So that's the only thing that's going to get super huge. The rest of this we can ping back and forth here. Staunch Hearted Warrior seems pretty good. That's an interesting play. Say if we play four, that'll add three more. And that will leave us one short here. So if we just do this, that adds two, three, four, and that only leaves us three. 
So we have to do one, two, Do we just monstrous this? He comes in eight and nine. It becomes that much harder. I don't think that's to play this turn though. I think we have to lash this this turn. Or is it just worth throwing this out as another blocker? So I don't want to give him a chance to target this. Because that becomes a 6-6, six, six, which is really hard for us to deal with. But we can always monstrous this later to be a blocker for the 6-6 six, six. and we're not really too awful worried about damage right now because what, what can he attack with this and this is about all he can attack with otherwise they just die if this dies this dies and this we're not worried about and opal and unicorn we're not worried about at all I think this just gets two plus one plus one counters, so that can get big quick, but we can still block with Nessie Nap even if he targets that. Yeah, I think the play is just to lash this this turn. And then pass back. Once he got to target it. He's got a target. Savage Surge. Ugh. So we should have just tossed out the Ferris Band Centaurs. Yep, that's probably going to be what ends up losing this game for us. We should have just tossed out this Ferris Band Raiders, let him target, and then either double blocked it or something. He got an insane advantage with that Asphyxiate. Beautiful. Now we have to get rid of that. And he's just basically two for one me. Unless he's got the regen spell here. In which case he just blows us out. And then we just... For two... Three, four here. Get out our Ferris Band Raider. We can't really attack yet because... He can just double or block us on... Here, here, and here. And kill this guy. So we don't... Do we want to trade? With? No, not when we can just match us in next turn. So I kind of like our board state at this point. We're, we're not too far behind. Next turn we'll get to see his whole hand. Get him to discard his best card if he doesn't play anything big this turn.
So Ashiax add up whenever you cast a spell that targets it, each point discards a card. We're not really worried about that at this point. I think we just monstrous this guy. So we have three, four, five, six, and seven. We'll just monstrous. And swing with that bad boy. And if he wants to block it, that's fine. He can just start chump blocking away. Do we want to swing with both of these yet? I don't think we do. He can just chump block this all day. So do I want to try to see if he'll trade something for this? I don't think he's going to throw something huge in front of him. He'll probably just throw Karamentra's Acolyte in front of it for three. And I think we just attack with the Nessie and Asp this turn. And can he do enough to get rid of it? So he's just going to throw his guardians under the bus here. Which I'm fine with. That guy is annoying. And then we pass turn back here. Alright, we pick up another swamp here. So I think our best play at this point is just going to be to throw out Disciple here. See what he's got in his hand. Make him discard. See what he's holding on to here. I'll go ahead and get rid of that. He's got nothing. He's just land. So we'll go ahead and swing here. And do we just go ahead and do this? See if he blocks with the Karametra's Acolyte there. So he's going to be losing at least one thing this turn. Probably should have tapped this differently so I had the life gain here. Life loss and gain. So he'll throw a Seder Rambler under the bus here. He's not gonna. Oh, he throws the Opaline Unicorn. That's fantastic. That's fine with me. And the Seder Hedonist. So he's gonna kill it. That's fine. Yeah, that's perfectly fine. I'm willing to do that. Yeah, one and two. Yeah, perfect. That looks good. And we will go ahead and tap this. Actually, we can't do that. So yeah, we'll just go ahead and pass back here. <laughs> so he's got to play here. He drew something he can play. Stormcaller Kronos, not worried about that. Another forest here. Do we even worry about the... We only got one damage on board here. The only thing we can really attack with here is our Nessie Nasp and then just start draining. Do that on his turn, huh? We can drain him for three. We're gonna have to hurry here, we're running out of time. And these this matchup, he's probably just gonna end up beating us on time here. Magma Jet, where's he Magma Jet here? Just me. Okay, he just gets two scry out of it. I need to start moving faster here. On the end of his turn here, we tap three, activate the scholar. And tap three again. Activate the scholar. 
And then we'll tap this. And the swamp and activate the scholar. And that's all we can do for the turn. Another swamp. Why not? We'll go ahead and... No, it's probably better just to... Can I not get another freaking big creature here? I mean, I'm just going to swim with everything. Most damage we can get in, why not? He's got block, 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 but we got to start doing something here. So he just blocks the one. He thinks I probably have a combat trick, which I don't, which is fine. So we'll just go ahead and pass back to him here. And he's got to be drawn into stuff he can play. So Tessin, Oathsworn, or Battle Priest, or whatever this is, Oathsworn. Dang gum it! I missed my freaking activations of my scholar. That's gonna cost me. So again, we just throw out this. Could have swung with all of them, but whatever. We're just gonna throw a blocker underneath of it. That's fine. So here we just blam, 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 scholar. Blam, 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 scholar. Tap this guy. Scholar. And that's all we can do, so. Sentry seems good. Swing in with our ass. We'll do. I don't want to do the scholar. We'll swing in with the asp and the disciple here. Try to get in for one extra here. So he'll take one. We'll tap this. That adds two. Three scholar. And he's got nothing. So we'll just play our forest. Nasty and asp. And we'll swing with the team. And we'll just swing with these guys. See what he does here. So we have a very limited amount of time to win this second game. Seven minutes. I don't really see anything here that makes me want to play any of this stuff here. Regenning something makes him have to block. Sip of Hemlock is good, but am I really worried about that? I think we just submit, a, submit again and keep going. And hope he doesn't find his error boss this turn. But we really don't have much time here, so we really have to try to work him down on clock time here. Because otherwise he's just going to win because we run out of time. Which is definitely not what we want to look at here. So we, we definitely pulled that out, but we didn't hit any of our bigger stuff here. Didn't hit Arbor Colossus, didn't hit Nemesis of Mortals, didn't hit Nylea's Disciple just we just starved ourselves here so we definitely need to push this out and get a win here fortunately we do play kind of a long game here yeah this is fine keep this
Go ahead and throw out the swamp, pass back. Seder Rambler's fine. Now these disciples are awful to see at this point. Just need to land. We can get in there with that insatiable harpy. We'll be in good business. Scholar of Athreos even is nice. Ugh, the Guardian. Nemesis isn't going to do it, so we just pass back. We got nothing going here. Need a land. I'm definitely cool with letting him run down his clock though, if that's what he wants to do. As that's pretty much the name of the game here. Whoever runs out of time first is going to be the loser. I can get that flying lifelink online though. I've got Asphyxiate already in hand for Guardians. Not worried about Seder Rambler. Scholar of Athreos would be nice to get online here. You guys just get rid of Guardians though. If he, if I pull a Swamp. This is my three turn play here. He lost connection to the game. So maybe he just quit? I don't really know. Either way, we're going to let his clock run out here. But do I just asphyxiate this next turn, if that's the case, or do I Erebos's Emissary? Because I can just discard and pump that sucker all day long. If I get four. Depending on what four, I can do Nile's Disciple, it's a nice 3-3. Three, three. I have a lot of options here. So we'll wait for this guy to come back here for just a second, and uh go from there So we did end up coming back, and we do have Asphyxiate here. Don't want to take too much time to think about what we're doing here. And Asphyxiate is a sorcery, so I think we just try to knock out this defender here, as that's our biggest threat at this point. Next turn, if we pull a land, we've got the Harpy. That flying and lifelink, so that'll negate any some of the damage that he's got. <laughs> Be nice to pull that drown in sorrow at this point. Another staunch hearted warrior. El Arbor Colossus is not gonna do it. Got no plays this turn, so just pass turn back. Need another land. 
I don't know why he's not swinging for any damage at this point. Probably he's just going to try to run down my clock. Got to try to be fast about this here. So he got some messenger speed. It's fine. And he casts the next Born Wolf. He'll go ahead and attack this turn. No, he won't. Wow. So that's fine. We'll just hold up Savage Surge here and get rid of his Messenger Speeded dude if he attacks. What do I want to get rid of here? Farika's Commander's fine. Don't really care about that. Do we try it here? Yeah, let's try it. Borderland Minotaurs. He might just pull us out here. Yeah, he's going to end up just beating down on me here. I can't draw any lands. Oh, this is horrible. That's what I would do. Just block there. Try to savage surge this guy, see if he just comes up with a combat trick here. If he does, we're just dead anyways. Finally our forest. I feel like we just have to throw out Nemesis here. And do we have enough to monstrous this? Seven? No. So he gets a five five. Um I feel like we throw out the so we can take some more damage here. chooses not to attack with anything. That's fine with me. I'll throw out the insatiable harpy this turn. Pass back. And it's going to be kind of a race here. He's going to attack, so he's got a combat trick here. I'm going to go ahead and block there. Six, seven, and block here. So he's probably going to blow out my return phalanx here. I'm going to take five. So we got asphyxiate, which we can't use on those. So he's got four next turn. I think we just pass turn and asphyxiate on his turn, this Faragax Giant. Or his staunch hearted warrior, one of the two. Just testing. doesn't do anything so we will go ahead and 
as a sorcery. Dag nabbit. Fine. Um, what do we do here? What do we do? Gotta hurry. Throw out this. And we gotta attack with this this turn. So we get up to six. He's going to attack with everything. Maybe. So he is going to attack with everything here. And a block here. And a block here. No, that's backwards. Block here and block there. Oh boy, what do we do here? Just roll out something here. Pass turn back. Get a planes. Just throw out this. Pass turn back. Could be attacking him with the harpy, but not really worried about it at this point. Another planes. Hope when unicorn's not going to do it. Another forest. Swing with everything. It's down to eight, so we have lethal on board next turn unless he pulls a creature here. What's he got? Centaur Battlemaster, that's fine. Hopefully I draw a creature card. I don't. That's fine though. I'm gonna swing with the team again.
So he'll take that guy out. That's fine. Down to two. We've got lethal next turn unless he has something with reach. So we'll just go ahead and swing with the team and see what he's got here. You can't take out everybody. Somebody's going to get through for that too. So there you go. We managed to pull it out. Just gonna let the rest of the time run out here, maybe. Oh man. So that was close. Uh, see you guys in the next round.